Hello, Ron here today um, with another video on Ron Brown's YouTube channel. And today we're going to talk about the um, the DJI Air 3. This is going to be like a, you know, like a uh, live, not live video. I'm not going to, you know, uh, cut it or edit it or, you know, put any overlays or any music in or whatever. This is just going to be a kind of a old school Ron talk here. So, um, yeah. So we, we got some uh, breaking news last night from uh, many of the famous Twitter leakers like Igor, uh, Jasper Ellens, and so on. We finally got a breakdown, you know, of the specs of the Air 3. We did get the leak over the weekend, uh, the uh, kind of the camera specs, camera and, you know, like lens specs. And I covered that in a video uh, I made, I think, yesterday. I'll, I'll link it down below. So I'll briefly talk about that, but we went in depth on all that already. So we're going to talk about the other specs today. So I have them right in front of me here. So just, you know, bear with me as I call them up on the screen here. I got my trusty, uh, you know, iPad Pro here. So uh, this is a, kind of a... Um, a recap of the leaks that the Drone XL uh, uh, made that I'm, I'm kind of going to go over here right now. Uh, and you know, some of the uh, highlights I'll get to it right away is 48-minute um, uh, uh, max flight time. So a lot of people were worried that the flight time wouldn't be uh, up to par with the Mavic 3 and the Mini 3 Pro because the battery specs. But, uh, you know, so that rest assured this will have the same long flight time as other drones. Omnidirectional obstacle uh, 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 sensing. So it mean obstacle avoidance and omnidirectional, you know, should mean all around. They don't say 360, but it sounds like it's going to have you know, almost 360 obstacle avoidance. So you saw those leaked photos where they have the, um, the kind of the fish eye type sensors on all four corners of the drone. And uh, it ha it's going to have the 04 uh, video transmission, which everybody guessed, you know, so that's, that's new, you know, nothing uh, that hasn't been speculated. Um, it also have a you know, dual camera, uh, 40, 48 megapixel photos and 4K HDR video on both cameras. The, um, the wide, the 24 uh, field of view, 1.7, and also the 3X 70 millimeter, um, uh, two, 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 two point, no, I'm, I got my stuff messed up here. The wide angle the, the, is uh, the 24 has a 1.7 and no, I am right. And the 3X has a, um, I think a 2.8 uh, aperture. So um, yeah, so both are have 48 megapixel photos and uh, four, 4K HDR. And this isn't, these 48 megapixel photos, that's not as good as the 20 megapixel photos you're getting on the Mavic 3, Mavic 3 Pro, Mavic 3 Classic, Mavic 3 Series, let's say, or even the Air 2S. The, these are 12 megapixel photos and they do, uh, you know, a thing where they, uh, sensor type of thing where they, they, they create a 48 megapixel file, but it's not a, it's not a real 48 megapixel file, but I'm not saying it's not good. Um, so, uh, you know, we have the, uh, the, you know, the, the, the wide angle and three X medium telly, um, that we already talked about. Um, okay. The, the dual camera, uh, 4k 60, uh, FPS HDR videos. And now why that's important is the uh, Mini 3 Pro has a uh, 4K uh, HDR, but it only goes up to 30 frames a second. So this doubles the frame rate from the Mini 3 Pro. Um, and uh, let's see here, we uh, uh, kind of getting down here to some of the stuff here. Um, yeah, the uh, Air 3 boasts the first uh, dual primary uh, camera system for the Air Series, meaning two cameras, not one. Uh, and they will have the uh, one over one third inch CMOS uh, sensor wide angle and uh, the same specs for the medium tele and now this is below one inch sensor that the Air 2S has so be aware of this I'm not saying it's not as good or it won't be good but uh, spec wise it's a smaller sensor so in the Air, Air 2S but uh, both so both um, uh, cameras will have the same exact uh, you know, a, a sensor on them. And what I think that's good for, like if you're uh, going from one to the other in your video, like your, part of your video is going to have uh, the wide angle, some's going to tell you, um, everything else is going to be exactly the same, like the, you know, the 4K 60 HDR, the size of the sensor. So it'll be real easy to edit and combine these focal lengths together, being that the cameras are so similar. And that's, I'm guessing that's probably why they did this, you know, so... Um, and uh, let's see here. Um, the wide angle camera will have the 2.4 UM pixel size. That's the bigger pixels. Um, the the 25, the 24 inch, uh, the 24 millimeter uh, uh, field of view will have a uh, 
format equivalent of a 1.7 inch uh, aperture, wide open aperture for low light. Um, and the the medium, the tele, the 3X medium tele will also have the key kill called medium tele as opposed to the long tele, the 7X, which is on the Mavic 3 series. Uh, it will also have the 2.4 UM pixel size and a 2.8 aperture, which I mentioned earlier. Yeah, both will have the 48 megapixel photos, not only the wide angle, but also the medium tele. Um, so, uh, yeah, both, uh, I already mentioned, uh, is, he's repeating them in the article, so I'm repeating too, uh, the 4K 60fps uh, HDR videos, which is great. It's kind of an upgrade. Uh, but in regular non-HDR video, you will get up to a 4K 100 frames per second. And uh, both cameras, not just the, you know, the better wide angle or the, or the you know, the, the wide open aperture, both these cameras will have the 10-bit, uh, D log M and the D log M is the easier log to um, edit on. That just recently was released on some other drones like the Mavic 3. So, um, and also 10 bit HLG, which is a uh, kind of a kind of a HDR thing where you know it's easier to it gets you 10 bit and it's easier to process uh, you in, in post than the, uh, the, the D log. So, uh, no descending like here. We go D log, D -log M, which is better. And not as easy to uh, uh, you know to color grade as the cinema light, but a lot easier than just straight log. So that, uh, to me, my opinion, that's good. Try not to give my opinion too much here. Just re just the facts, ma'am. Just the facts. Um, yes, um, it, it mentions here that the 10 bit HLG mode can present a higher dynamic range, uh, achieving excellent imaging results without color grading. So um, yeah, that, that's very good to have that on there. Um, they say extended flight, innovative charging, their three offers up to 46 minutes of flight time, an increase of 48% compared to the previous generation, the Air 2S, and uh, plenty of time to, you know, get what you don't need to get done in the air. And uh, it has a new battery hub, which is kind of innovative that you can, uh, all the batteries can charge at once. The previous DJI hubs, you know, it, it would charge the battery that was the most filled, had the most battery left it, battery power left it first, you know, down to the one that was the deadest, but this one will charge them all at the same time. So you used to have to buy a third party battery hub to do this. So uh, kudos to DJI for uh, including that. And, uh, you know, we got, we got back to the omnidirectional obstacle void sensing. Again, they're not talking about 360, but it says it has a uh, horizontal omnidirectional vis vision system, upward vision, uh, downward vision sensors, and uh, down, downward TOF sensor. So um, it, 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 is, it, it sounds like it's going to have, um, you know, what we kind of call a, a 360. That We'll see that when it actually comes out. Um, trying to take care of the, uh, is it says here, the omnidir omnidirectional sensing system allowing the air through to detect opticals in all directions. Um, so... You know, we'll, we'll see. Uh, that's good. It's going to be better than what we have now. When obstacles are detected, the Air 3 can use APAS 5.0 to perform smoother avoidance movements for a safer overall flight experience. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, really good news. Uh, we talked about the O4 um, video transmission system, the first uh, device here, the first drone from DJI that have O4, uh, dramatically enhanced transmission performance, a max range of 20 kilometers. Um, and I believe that translates over to 12.5 miles and um, it'll have a 1080p 60 frames per second max quality live feed back to your uh, uh, controller. So all these are good. Intelligent flight features, um, uh, effortlessly cutting edge. I don't know what that means here. Fly inspired. I don't know what that means. If that's a term or that's a new uh, intelligent flight feature. Of course, it'll have focus tracking uh, and you'll be able to do that not only with the wide angle, but also the medium tele, which is good. Um, and, you know, of course, they're talking here about the, you know, be able to use the sense of spatial compression. Remember, the, the, everybody, when the Mavic 3 Pro came out, all you heard was compression, compression, compression. So now we're going to get a, another round of uh, uh, compression, compression on, on this one. So, yeah, I'm just kidding here. It's all good. I, I love compression as uh, much as the next guy here. So, they're about Spotlight 2.0, Active Track 5.0, Point of Interest 3.0. Now, the Active Track uh, 5.0, I kind of predicted it would be 6.0 because that just came out for the um, 
Oh, I'm six gimbal, and the OM6 gimbal is from like last fall, so older hardware got O6. Um, not sure why um, new hardware won't get active track 6.0, but we'll see. Uh, quick shots, of course, rocket drone -y, blah, blah, blah. Here's something interesting. People, a lot of people have been speculating, well, this drone will get two, you know, a vertical video, like the Mini 3 Pro has, the only DJI drone with a, a true vertical video in the line. And it looks like it, it, we get, we're getting vertical video here, but I don't know if it's true vertical video. Uh, 2.7 vertical shooting, the Air 3 supports 2.7 vertical shooting with both cameras, both cameras, giving uh, vertical footage a superbly dynamic look and uh, capturing landscapes and subjects. 2.7 vertical, 2. 2.7, I'm talking too fast here. 2.7 vertical shot output directly from a 4.3 CMOS delivers clips that are optimized for smartphone viewing and ready to share on social media without any cropping needed in post. So again, both this is on both cameras. So I'm guessing that it's really it's not spinning the camera, you know, and, and getting a true a vertical image like the Mini 3 Pro does. It's kind of doing like what the GoPro Hero 11 do, it, doing. It, it, it's kind of doing a, you know, it's creating a vertical, uh, uh, maybe a high res, 2.7 is pretty high res for sharing to things like Instagram and TikTok. So I, I think it's creating a set of two points, uh, a vertical, vi vertical video or photo that kind of the way maybe the Hero 11 goes. Just speculating there, folks. Uh, don't know that for a fact. Uh, it's going to have master shots, whether master shots approved, they don't know. Here's something a lot of people would have been hoping for, one talked about much, night mode. Thanks to advanced noise reduction algorithm, the Air 3 can capture noise-free footage at up to 4K30 in low-light environments at night. So we are capped to 4K30, much like the Mavic 3 series, but night mode, uh, uh, great, great throwing that in there. Hyperlapse, um, you know, uh, it looks like it has all the hyperlapse modes we're used to, including waypoint hyperlapse, slow motion up to 100 frames per second of 4K or 1080p. Um, Smart Photo 3.0, uh, which is a, a lot of people love uh, smartphone. Um, in a single shot mode, the Air 3 uses Smart Photo 3.0 by default, which can automatically detect amazing HDR hyperlight, scene recognition according to uh, the scenario for uh, bad, better imaging results. In HDR, the DNG format, the camera can record a larger dynamic range with a built-in contrast enhancement. The image can also achieve J, JPEG level uh, quality in post-editing software, reducing the difficulty of post-production. So uh, that is great news there. Uh, you you know, uh, Smart Photo 3.0 in, in, in DNG format, uh, uh, excellent. I said, love Smart Photo, a lot of people love Smart Photo. And a quick transfer, which I, I, you know, I don't know if we had the, I think we had it in the Air 2 already. So that's always handy, especially if you don't, um, you know, if, if you don't add it on a computer, if you add it on, add it on a device such as this iPad Pro or a phone, that quick transfer is great. Uh, light Cut uh, app, uh, it could connect wirelessly to the Light Cut app, which many of the recent drones like the Mavic 3, Mavic 3 Pro could, could. If you don't know what Light Cut is, it's a great little app to help you do faster edits. I think I made a video about it. If not, I'll make a, another video uh, too. One tap edit. Uh, is, and here's the one we haven't seen before, tilt shift effects. Everybody loves tilt shift, and there's a lot of, you know, a lot of manual ways you can do it, but this looks like it'll have a, uh, you know, a, a built-in tilt shift, uh, maybe, uh, you know, um, quick shot type of thing. Uh, you can shoot footage with the 3X medium tele for even more dynamic results. So uh, hyper advanced shooting waypoint for the first time. Waypoint feature is now available on the Air series. So there, I mean, this is really, you know, uh, hitting the bucket list of, requ of, of, of uh, you know, people wanting for this drone. Waypoints, uh, plan flight routes, shooting actions for the Air 3, achieve, uh, uh, you know, difficult camera movements and so on. So, um, yeah, this is all good. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm posting this article that I'm talking about. This is a Drone XL article, but, you know, all the pictures and stuff in here were provided by Jasper Allen, most of the information. So I'm going to post that article in the Drone Nation Facebook group. I'll, I'll pin it to the top. So just go to the Drone Nation. You can find it easily. You know, in case I misspoke anything or you want to miss anything I said, you could reread them again. So, yeah, I mean, all, all we, what we don't know now we don't know the release date, rumored for the end of July. We do not know the price uh, of this drone, rumored to be about $1,100. But again, you know, the, the, the release date and price is uh, pure rumors. Even these specs I just gave you, 
it, it, it's not confirmed by DJI in any way. You know, uh, if, if something's on here, like say uh, waypoints, if you're dying for waypoints and it doesn't show up with waypoints, again, it's it's just what's been been reported on Twitter by by Jasper here. So not confirmed by DJI. So just to, just want to put that out there. Um, you know, but. Uh, it, it, it's you know if you're looking forward to this drone it's time to get excited i think it'll be here sooner or later now i mean the faster the leaks come you know the more um you know the uh, the, the closer the drone is here the uh the new controllers have already been uh, showed up in the fcc database and of course i did not mention here uh that this does come with a new two new controllers the djrc and two and djrc two and the um we do know that the, the RC2 will have uh, two um, external antennas to help increase, increase the signal strength, uh, which was, um, you know, a little bit of an issue with the first the DGRC1, especially on the Mini 3. The transmission wasn't as good as what we were used to in some other, uh, uh, you know, dr previous drones from DJI. So, okay, I just want to, again, don't want to go on and on here. Um, I think I've got everything out there in a message. Uh, again, uh, I'll put a link down below to the video, I, a couple of videos recently I made uh, where I talked about, um, you know, the, uh, the cameras before. And also I made a video about, uh, you know, uh, uh, about not selling your Air 2S because uh, if you're really in love with the uh, one, in, one in sensor on the Air 2S, the 5.4K video, the 20 megapixel photos, you're not going to get any of that on this drone here. Those features will be missing. Not saying this new Air 3 won't be as good or, or better than the Air 2S, but if you're tied into those three things that I just said, if you're married to those three features or whatever, you're not going to get in this drone. So um, I'm going to leave you on that note here. Um, uh, you know, give me a, a, a thumbs up if you like this video. It'll help my videos get seen by more people on YouTube rather than just my subscribers. Um, Ring the bell so you'll know when I post uh, new videos. And also subscribe to the channel if you're not already a member, if you're a newbie around here. And, uh, you know, I'll uh, maybe I'll throw some links down below if you want to help the channel out. Um, you know, use my Amazon affiliate links to buy anything. It doesn't have to be a drone. could be, a, you know, a, a Starbucks coffee mug or whatever. And I'll also uh, put my link down for buy me a coffee. Buy me a coffee. You know, you can throw me a couple bucks, you know, get me a, uh, you know, it's summer now. Get me a nice iced coffee to get me through these warm days. So we will see you in the next video, folks.